Hello guys. Ang ating lesson ngayon is again transportation cost pero mag-focus tayo dun sa iba't ibang uh, freight terms. So ang i-discuss ko is yung FOB shipping point ang freight term tapos freight collect ang freight payment. So paano ba ang journal entries kapag FOB shipping point freight collect ang terms ng uh, transaction. So, review lang natin ng konti. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng FOB shipping point? Kapag FOB shipping point ang usapan between the buyer and the seller, sino nga ang magsushoulder ng shipping costs? Oh, si buyer. Oh, laging tatandaan. Pag FOB shipping point, buyer shoulders the shipping costs. So, since si buyer ang nagsushoulder ng shipping cost, si buyer dapat ay mag-debit ng freight in or transportation in na account. So, kapag FOB shipping point then the ownership of the goods passes from seller to the buyer when the inventory leaves the seller's place of business. Or, ibig sabihin nito, while the goods are still in transit habang binabiyahe pa, ang may-ari na ng uh, merchandise or ng goods ay si buyer. Ano naman yung freight collect? Pag freight collect, meaning the freight entity collects from the buyer. So, ibig sabihin kapag freight collect, si buyer ang nagbayad. So, check lang natin. Nagmamatch ba silang dalawa? In FOB shipping point freight collect, who shoulders the transportation costs? O, buyer. Who pays the shipper? Okay. The buyer then. So, match silang dalawa. Let's have an example. So, we have the this transaction. Uh, at the following transactions on October 14, 2019 True Love Store owned by Trisha Lambunaw sold merchandise to Just Me Store owned by Janine Maglana for 50,000 the terms FOB shipping point freight collect 2 over 10 and over 30 so ibig sabihin nito ang usapan nila ang freight term nila is FOB shipping point freight payment is freight collect there is a 2% discount if we pay within 10 days but we have to pay within 30 days so Janine received the goods and the invoice on October 15 and then paid the shipping cost of 750 pesos so take notes Janine dito ay si buyer si Trisha ay si seller so, ang nagbayad ng shipping cost na 750 ay si Janine. Si Janine ay buyer. On October 23, Janine sent the payment to Trisha, which Trisha received on October 24. So, we are required to prepare the journal entries in the books of hashtag true love and hashtag just me, meaning in the books of the seller and the buyer. So, yun na sa left side, yung uh, naka-violet, yan ay sa seller, yun na sa right side or naka-orange and I see buyer. So, yung transaction natin, October 14, 2019, hashtag true love store owned by Trisha Lambuna sold merchandise to hashtag just me store owned by Janine Maglana for 50,000 pesos. So, balikan lang natin yung terms natin dito is FOB uh, shipping point. In terms natin ay FOB shipping point, freight collect. So, ano nga ulit? Kapag FOB shipping point, freight collect, sino nga ulit ang in charge sa transportation cost? Si buyer. So, ano ang entry nung nagbenta si Trisha? Ang entry nung October 14, sa kay hashtag true love is debit accounts receivable kasi utang ito, 50,000. Credit sales, 50,000. Check naman natin sa right side banda. Sa books ni buyer, paano entry natin? O bumili si Janine, o si hashtag just me, so debit tayo ng purchases, 50,000. Credit tayo ng accounts, payable, 50,000. Then, the next transaction is 
Janine received the goods and the invoice on October 15 and paid the shipping cost of 750 Kung mapapansin nyo, sa book ni seller, wala tayong entry. Bakit? Kasi wala naman talaga nangyaring transaction sa kay seller. Okay? Hindi naman, hindi siya ang in charge sa freight. Hindi din siya magbayad. Okay, so, wala tayong entry. So, palating kay buyer, pakicheck nyo ng mabuti. Ang terms natin ay FOB shipping point. Si buyer ang dapat magbayad. Freight collect, si buyer ang nagbayad. So, wala tayong conflict. So, madali lang. Debit lang ng freight in 750. Credit ng cash 750. So, titingnan natin sino ang nagbayad ng trans sino ang nagbayad or nag-record ng transportation cost si buyer. Kasi pag shipping FOB shipping point, si buyer ang in charge. Freight collect, si buyer ang nagbayad. Now, on October 23, Janine sent the payment to Trisha, which Trisha received on October 24. So, tingnan natin paano ang entry. Sa kay seller tayo, October 24 niya na-receive. So, record niya ng October 24. Uh, debit cash, 49,000. Debit sales discount, 1,000. Credit accounts receivable, 50,000. So, bakit kaya may discount tayo na 1,000? Balikan lang natin. Yung, yan yung original transaction sa baba, October 14. Ito siya. October 14 yun ang original na transaction. Nagbayad ay dumating ang payment October 24. So, October 24 minus 14, 10 days. Okay. Meaning, kasi may terms tayo, o, oh, ito, o, oh, 2 over 10. Meaning, nagbayad within the discount period yung ating customer. So, makaka-avail siya ng sales discount. So, we have a cash discount of 1,000. Paano kinompute yun? Wala naman tayong returns, wala tayong allowances. Okay, so, 50,000 times 0 0.02. Then, the account to be used is sales discount. Bakit sales discount? Kasi sa seller tayo, kay hashtag true love. Punta tayo sa kay hashtag just me. Siya si buyer. Okay, paano ang kanyang entry? October 23, nagbayad siya. Debit accounts payable kasi nabawasan ng utang, 50,000. Credit cash, 49,000. Credit purchase discount, 1,000. So again, may discount tayo 1,000 kasi nga nagbayad tayo within 10 days. Ang account na ginamit natin ay purchase discount. O bakit purchase discount? Kasi si hashtag just me ay buyer. So, I hope na unawaan ito.